Good morning, and it is an early morning. It is almost six o'clock, and we're posed in front of the front door, and what does that mean? We're, we're going, going on, on vacation. vacation. Going on vacation. We like doing an intro right at the front door right before we head out. We're going on a seven-day Mexican Riviera cruise. Is anybody excited at all? Yeah! <laughs> we're all super excited. It's become kind of a January tradition to, that, to have our main vacation then. So we're about to head out, and we hope you join us on this adventure. We have officially made it to SeaTac Airport. Our travel day has gone well so far, which is awesome. It's always good to have no hangups. We got a little breakfast on the way, parked the truck. Now we're here, headed over to Alaska Airlines, board a plane to LAX. Now we're going on a carnival cruise. Last year in January, we went on a Disney cruise to the Caribbean, which was an amazing experience. I'm excited to see how other cruise lines do things. Um, never been, this is going to be my second cruise, never been on Carnival before. It is going to be on the Panorama and we got a couple port days in Mexico. Well, it was harrowing but we officially made it through security. I don't know, for me, that's probably the most stressful part of the entire trip is going through yeah. security. Mainly because you got to take everything off, hats, belts everything you got to disclose if you have any legal parrots which i don't this time <laughs> how are you doing so far uh, you know made it through security is always a tough one especially with a family all you parents know heck yeah well we made it through we do have some time to burn so we're gonna go chill down by our gate but we are excited is anybody else here excited how you doing buddy <laughs> pretty good you excited yeah how about you girls you're so cute are you excited who's that in your shirt right there yeah. Oh, is that Mr. Jerry T. Bear? Mm -hmm. That's her stuffy. He's been all around the world with her. But we're gonna make our way down to the gate. We made it through security, and we didn't get extra, extra screened, which was really nice, which, yeah. which can happen, because when you're traveling with a family and kids, there's always toiletries and stuff and snacks. And yeah, actually, this was probably one of our better yeah, go-throughs. Really smooth. Good job, SeaTac. Heck yeah. And in case you didn't know, gotta represent my Sonics. <laughs> Now they've done some remodels here in SeaTac since we've been, and they added a really cool store. It looks like it's a Sub Pop store. Now Sub Pop was a record label um, back when the grunge scene was around and Nirvana was on it. I'm gonna show you the store real quick. Sub Pop. Let's kind of show you some of the wares here in case you're interested. I got a cool Kurt Cobain shirt. Lots of records. Oh, this is really cool. I like this uh, this fleece here. Sixty-five bucks. Yeah. So if you come through the airport, you can bring back some cool grunge merch. Now I am a child of the '80s and '90s, and. Uh, being from the Seattle area, grunge was a huge influence on my youth, so this place is really cool to see. Um, they got like a wall of cool Polaroids. Oh wow, there's, it looks like Dave Grohl right there. Huh, oh, Macklemore's been through here. Yeah, this is really cool. Now my luggage is packed to the hilt because we're leaving for a week, so I don't have any room for any merch at this time, but that place is definitely cool and got a retro vibe. What do you think about this Sub Pop store? Um, I mean, it's so Seattle. <laughs> you have to come here. If you're visiting Seattle, this is like very Seattle. They have the, the flannels from the grunge. They have Kurt Cobain. They have everything you could ever dream of, all the Seattle stuff, famous music, everything. Check it out. Well, 
after early morning, some traveling, some walking, some shuttle taking, some bus taking, we are here at the terminal. And I don't know about you, for me, once we get through TSA and right before we get on the plane, now I can officially re relax. We're on vacation mode. We're on vacation mode. Official. Pri prior to that, everything's off the table, but we are here now. I can sit down and relax for a moment because it's been a hectic morning. It's actually been a hectic several, several days leading yeah. up to this. You know, getting the house prepared, getting everything purchased we need, everybody packed, but we made it happen. And now, one, yeah. two, three, sigh relief. Oh, okay. And we get to go to where it's warm. Heck Even yeah. if it's 60 degrees, it is 60 degrees in California today. So. Yeah, 60 has been about 30 warmer than what we've been experiencing, so I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are boarding and the Skyway is cold. Everly, okay, give us a quote for the video. Hello, we are just about to board the, we are just about to board the airplane. I'm so excited, my family is say hi mom. Hi. So, we are just about to, and we will see you soon. And where, where are we, we going? going? We are going to Los Angeles. Okay, let's go towards the back. We're in 26. Okay, we found our seats. We're seated, getting settled in. And I don't know what they're playing, but like it is the cringiest music ever. Hope I don't get copyrighted. But even if we did, you don't want to hear it, so it'd be good to cut it out. Okay, just a quick update. We were just about to take off, and then they said there's some sort of mechanical issue on the plane. Had to turn around. Mechanics are looking at it right now, so hopefully it's a quick fix and we can be on our way. Fingers crossed. Well, that's a deep subject. So I didn't edit things out of sequence. We're back in the airport. I guess the mechanical issue may be a little worse than they originally anticipated. Of right. Course. Of course. <laughs> um, right now it's noon. We were supposed to have taken off at 10 sharp, and they're anticipating it'll be fixed by 1:30. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Now, pro tip, if you're going on a cruise, it's best to arrive a day early for mishaps like this. At so, least. At least a day early. Um, if we arrived or traveled same day and there was a delay, the boat's going to leave with or without you. So, yeah, we would almost be there by now. So, But what are you going to do? I mean, luckily for all the traveling we've done, we've had very few delays or mechanical issues for the most part. So... Eh, I guess you get one now and then, so we're just going to bide our time here in the airport, chill a little bit, maybe get a coffee or something, and then hopefully they got their crack team on it um, to fix it, and we'll be good to go. So, And they may be able to fix it sooner as long as they don't play the same music they were playing for us, <laughs> because if that's the case, they may just give up. But we'll let you know when we get underway, and hopefully be in L.A. before we know it. Okay, quick status update. We were off the plane for maybe 45 minutes, an hour. We were able to get a little bit of lunch. If, if I could give you any tips, go to Beecher's Cheese. They got some good grilled cheese. But we're about to board and continue on with our journey. So luckily it didn't take them too terribly long and it isn't something that canceled the flight. So fingers crossed we can get on, be on our way, and be in LA before no time. What do you think? Is this gonna happen this time? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. And we're nice and safe now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, give me a th big thumbs up. Heck yeah. We are seated yet again. Cue a quick hyperlapse and we will be in LA. Well, we landed, we made it to LAX despite our best efforts. There was a couple hour delay, but we made it here. How was your flight, buddy? Pretty good, uh, tiring and long, but we did it and we're here. Yeah, we were supposed to get in a couple hours earlier, but what are you gonna do? There was some mechanical issues with the plane. Luckily, they got it fixed, but I think of mechanical issues, I always think of that episode of Twilight Zone with that creature ripping the wing off.
didn't see a creature, which was a good thing. Um, so they were able to get it up and running. And we are here in LA. We got to get our baggage, a rental car, drop everything off at the hotel. Then we're going to explore LA a little bit. We made it. We got a rental car. It's been a long travel day. We're heading to the hotel. And bare minimum, if we do nothing else tonight, we're going to get some In N Out Burger. Yeah. Sound like a plan? Yes. Animal style. You gotta go. Secret <laughs> menu. Secret menu all the way. Okay, so we're checked in our hotel. We're at the Embassy Suites. We're just staying here for one night, but they have a delivery robot, which when they all take over, I don't know what's going to happen. The robot is going up. I guess we're going to go. I don't know if I feel comfortable going in an elevator with a robot. Fifth floor, guys. Fifth floor. Okay, the robot is getting out on floor three. Evie, stay here. Stay here. It may, it may. Well, it's been a long travel day. We made it to our room here at Embassy Suites. Yes, they got robots and, and all sorts of stuff here. But I'm just going to use it for a place to sleep tonight so that we can go on the cruise tomorrow. It's been a long travel day. We're going to go get some dinner at In N Out Burger. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, maybe explore a little bit. We've lost a little bit of time since we had the flight delay, so it's getting kind of late. Um, so our exploring is going to be less than it was originally, but that's okay. But we thank you so much for watching with us. And we're going to have an entire cruise series, um, our whole Mexican Riviera cruise. So tune into that. We'll have a whole video series up and coming. But if you like this type of content, travel videos and location videos, give us a big thumbs up. That helps the channel. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please do. And make sure and smash that bell. That way you can join us on our next adventure. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you out in the ocean next time. favorite song? Oh, you know it. And this is called uh, the Alaska Airlines uh, Air Bleeding Mix, I think. So, luckily, I'm going to bust out the headphones.